And I want to see silver and gold set free. And the true price of silver and gold, I want to see it happen, right? But then you have these short sellers for companies like JP Morgan that just keep dumping paper, gold, and silver and pushing the price down. But if you go try to buy a, a silver bar right now for 18 bucks, what the market says the price is, you're not going to get it. No way. Because there's the premiums, you're probably going to spend 30 bucks for that same silver bar because that's the mm. truer price. That's the real value. It's not pushed down by some paper market. And, oh. and I saw Bitcoin. Bitcoin didn't have that. We didn't have that fake, that, that fake externality that uh, precious metals had. Were there some, you know, some of your friends who were in precious metals, were they, did they think you're crazy going into crypto? <laughs> yeah. How skeptical yeah. were they? Like, where, what were some of the arguments? Um, that it was fake money. They, they just thought that it was all imaginary. Uh, I'm like, well, um, my belief in gold and silver could be called imaginary as well. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was my argument. I, I thought that what they thought was crazy too. I, I, all I knew is that I could transfer money anywhere in the world at the time. This is when Bitcoin was still fast. For in a few minutes, I could transfer as much as I wanted any, at any time of the day, 24 hours a day to anywhere in the world. And I could trade crypto 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, whatever. So I saw a huge opportunity in it. You couldn't do that with gold and silver.